G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm sitting with Amy and Ian and Kimberly. Shannon is doing camera work for us and we are ministering to people that the Lord has put on my heart, people that have supported uh, Unity with Heaven and our ministry. Uh, and we just wanted to be a blessing to you today. So I made a list of uh, 13 people and we're going to sit now together and minister to the 13 people. And so the first person I want to minister to is Sherika Neal. All right? So Sherika, what the Lord showed me, He showed me four years where the, every one of those years there's an increase in the productivity and the fruitfulness in your life. And I felt that the Lord is saying to your daughter, I'm proud of you, you're doing good. Do not feel discouraged because you don't see a lot of fruit right now. You'll see an increase the year after, another increase the year after, and then the fourth year, you're going to go into a place where you, uh, the whole tree is full of fruit. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, all the giftings, all the talents that God has placed inside of you is functioning. And so I just felt you on a rapid growth speed. The Lord is building your character and is uh, helping you to to um, develop your gifting so that you can be functional in the kingdom of God. The Lord loves you very much. God bless. Amen. Sharika, God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you was how the Lord has called you to be a, the light, the light of the world, and how your just your heart is shining so brightly. And I just feel how the Lord is taking away all tiredness, um, and He's giving you new energy, He's giving you new life, He's filling up your heart of joy, and He's saying, daughter, um, I've, ca I've called you to be victorious, I'm giving you a drive. And also, there's a very big desire in your heart for you to read the Word of God. And I just see how the Lord is giving you more and more or, um, it's just equipping you with the word of God so when the time is right for you to speak you are you are ready so I just feel the Lord says keep on equipping yourself keep on growing keep on receiving the word of God because the Lord is going to bring incredible moments and, and the Lord is right now preparing you for that God loves you Sharika God bless you okay so the next word is for Cindy Burton Cindy the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I just saw a picture of you meditating upon the goodness of God where God reveals to you a lot. You, you're not just sitting and doing nothing. You're actually focusing on the importance of God in your life. And as you, as you allow God to fill that space, I just see how a light goes on and you realize what God is doing in your life. And because of that, you allow Him to work more and more freely in your life. And I just see how the goodness of God is going to multiply in your life because you decided to make a commitment to allow God to work through you. Be blessed. Hey, Cindy, the Lord shows me how you are carrying something, something new that He is wanting to place inside of your community, inside of your home. He says, take this seed that, that He is giving to you and care for it and multiply it. Do not hide it away. But this the Lord, and some things that you keep for just you and, and the Lord, but this, this he wants you to show. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Cindy, uh, you know when you take uh, soda and you just put that bubbles in, uh, I think I got a machine that you press the button and it just puts that bubbles in. I see how the Holy Spirit comes and he puts his Holy Spirit bubbles in you and it's just joy and enthusiasm and new life that the Lord is bringing to you. So God bless you. Uh, and uh, remember to keep that joy and that smile on your face. Uh, the Lord loves you very, very much. All right, so the next person I want to minister to is David Entiger. David, the Lord shows me how you feel it's necessary for you and the person in, that's your partner to get trained. So you buy two tickets, and then the two of you guys go to this event, a conference, to get the training and also get this motivation for the two of you. But then as you buy the two tickets, you get two extra complimentary tickets for free. So you bring two more people. So now you're four. And then all of you guys get trained. Uh, and although you think, oh, I'm just getting motivated, the Lord is actually building a winning team in your life. And so I believe you're going you're gonna to build something amazing for God, especially in the area of business. And I see all these four people that get motivated is part of it. God bless you. Amen, David. God has given you an anointing for creativity and also wisdom. I just see how, you know, like how Solomon received wisdom. And Solomon was a wealthy man. He had, he had, he, he God, God has really blessed him. But it started with his relationship with God, speaking to God, having that conversation with him. And you know what? I'm sure he had many, many before that and many, many conversations with God after. And the Lord says, I'm strengthening my relationship 
relationship with you and I'm speaking words into your life and I just feel how the Lord says I, I, I see that you are going to really be a person that builds tables I, I see how you're building tables then then so other people can come in and start creating uh, meals and putting food on the tables and so community can come and I just feel the Lord says I've called you to be a table builder to bring people together because that's that's obviously where the where the feast will come God loves you David God bless you Okay, this next one is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Lord shows me these these vines that are that are taking over your house, and the Lord says that He wants you to cut that down to the root. Do not let that cover your home. Do not let it cover your heart. Go to the root, because sometimes we we just see the little things and and other little things, and you wonder how did that get there? That you don't you don't even remember how that came. But the Lord says that I'm going to reveal the excuse me, the root to you and, and you will see the root and the Lord will help you to cut down the root and pull out the root and any, anything, any trace of the root will not be there anymore because the Lord will reveal it to you. Be blessed. Elizabeth, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a bob wire. Uh, normally it's for cows not to climb through uh, because uh, the thorns on the wire pushes into the skin of the animal and then they go back. Um, but I see this barrier that has been placed. It's not a difficult barrier for a human to get through, but it, it restricted you. There's things in your life that restricted you from really believing in God. And I just don't, I don't mean that God exists. I mean a trusting belief that you can say, I, I let go of the steering wheel of my life and I let the Lord take over the control of my life. And I just see how the Lord comes and he, he cuts those wires so that there's no restriction that you you've got a free choice to say this is what i'm going to do and everything that kept you back from the past um, has been taken away so that you can make that decision i really encourage you to make that decision and pray and ask for the lord to give you grace but also the holy spirit to help you to make the right choice be blessed hey elizabeth uh, god bless you god's hand is upon you uh, and uh, i really feel uh, that the lord says just stay with the team, stay with the pack. You know, when, when uh, uh, dogs run, they always run in a, in a pack. And I see you want to sometimes get a little bit behind, but the Lord is just encouraging you and this says, just stay with the pack because um, there's safety and the Lord has put people around you that love you. God bless you, Elizabeth. Um, so the next word is for Ari McFarlane. Uh, Ollie, what the Lord is showing to me is two, then a two multiplied to four, then the four multiplies to eight. So it's two, four, eight. Uh, but then I see of the eight, some grow, some are not growing. And there's three that grows really, really well. And so then uh, the Lord said to me, instead of trying to make all eight grow and watering all eight and trying to sustain all eight and they eat more than uh, they give, uh, then the Lord showed me, you just let the other five kind of just go and now you sit with three. And then three becomes six and then six becomes 12 uh, just like in the first process now the second process uh, start again okay so now a little bit of interpretation uh, i felt that the lord says there was two activities and because you've been faithful it became four activities and then there was four things that you took responsibility for think four things that you did for god and those four things became eight but now, because you've went into the new season, not at all eight is beneficial or sustainable in your life anymore. And I see how you let five go. There's three left over. And now a new cycle starts where you're going to be responsible for three, but the three is going to grow to six and then a six to 12. But in this case, there's every time people helping you and taking yeah. responsibility with you. So it's almost like you're not doing it by yourself, but you're doing it as a mentor with someone else. And the three became six, the six became 12. And you're gonna see later on uh, that 12, again, there will be a cutting back and then there will maybe be five that will be 10 and then 10 become 20. So I just see like this, the cycles of growth that the Lord is bringing in your life. And that has to do with people around you, with finances, 
with family and also mentorship that you're doing in other people's lives. God bless you, Ari. Amen. Ari, God loves you very much. I just hear the Lord says, I love Ari. I love Ari so much. And Ari, I, I just feel how the Lord says that I'm protecting you. I'm putting a shield of my love around you. And the Lord says that he is bringing a lot of simplicity and clarity, but also calling you to really concentrate on the, on the task that he's given you. And, and I see how you become a genius with these things that he's giving you. And then also, this is very random. I just see how God is giving you a new pair of shoes for real, for real. God is giving you new pairs of shoes. And I just feel how the Lord says also in the spirit, put on my sandals of peace because the Lord has called you to be a peacemaker. God loves you, Ari. God bless you. The next word is for Ifishuku. Ifishuku, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of the fish that was caught and there's a gold coin in the mouth of the fish uh, when Jesus had to pay his taxes. So I really feel that the Lord says, uh, focus on paying your taxes right and also if you don't have provision pray for provision I see how the Lord says I know that um, the ability to do what you need to do is limited sometimes but I'm giving you that ability I'm giving you the resources that you need it's not just an instruction without resources but it's an instruction with resource and I just see how God takes away some of the accusations that is against you and clear your name and then you can run your race freely it was like a ball in a chain that was hooked to your foot uh, but the Lord says he's going to help you to resolve that issue be blessed amen uh, just rely on the Holy Spirit the Lord shows me how how you have how you have these um, decisions to make and you feel the Holy Spirit is calling you to this person or to this thing. The Lord says, trust the Holy Spirit. Don't rely on your own understanding. When, when you make a, a decision, the, the, I, I, really, I fully believe that you know the voice of the Holy Spirit and you can feel how the Spirit is moving in your life. So follow that um, and don't rely on yourself. Be blessed. But, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Ifushuku, uh, God loves you very, very much. Uh, I, I just hear clarity of vision uh, when I listen to what God is speaking to you. So, you know, uh, write that vision down and then run with the vision. God bless you. Uh, so, uh, Brenda, um, uh, Brenda, uh, God's hand is upon you. Uh, it's real favor that is happening in, in your life. And I see an opportunity for you to really take off. Just like an airplane that's on a runway that's taking off. And I see you sit in an airplane and they announced, oh, there's a weather problem. The airplane can't take off. Um, you guys must just wait. And then there's a delay. And then suddenly they say the weather has cleared. Now the airplane can take off and then it goes. And so the Lord says, do not fear when you see there's a delay or there's a um, obstacle coming ahead of you. The Lord will take care of it. He's going to move it out of their way and he's going to help you uh, to be successful. God bless you, Brenda. Amen. Brenda, God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you is how he was putting this beautiful diamond crown on your head. And the Lord says, you are worthy. You are beautiful. And I see, I really feel the Lord is calling you to be an encourager, a cheerleader, especially for young girls to tell them that they are beautiful and that they are made in the image of God because there are a lot of girls out there with insecurity problems and I just see how the Lord has called you to be a vessel to speak love compassion and life and I feel that there's been a lot of attacks from the enemy trying to harden your heart and trying to say you got to toughen up but the Lord says I am making you strong but that compassion that I've given you is a super power and I just feel how the Lord says in in a miraculous ways you're going to touch many many lives God loves you Brenda God bless you the next word is for Jason Jason the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I just see faithful, hardworking, mm -hmm. and I just see how the Lord says through all of these years, what happened is your shoulders increased, the size of your shoulders, and there's a lot more responsibility that the Lord has placed upon your shoulders. But with that uh, responsibility, I see also reward and how the Lord sends you resources that you need. And I just see through, even though some days were very hard on you and some days were very challenging on you, that helped to develop your character. And it seems like you've got a very strong character. And now the Lord says, I'm sending um, like small chickens under your wing that you're going to take care of. People that you're going to disciple, that you're going to help and encourage. Uh, but not in the normal traditional way. But you're going to share a lot of wisdom and you're going to have an open relationship where they, people can be honest with you and you give them... Uh, honest help, not just a 
the normal, whatever the book says, but you're going to give them godly wisdom. Be blessed. And Jason, the Lord shows me how He wants you to go and sit and listen to the to the word that the Lord is giving to you and write it down. The Lord also shows me how how He wants you just to have patience, have patience when when you go into His presence to receive this word. Have patience, have endurance, and do not do not let the enemy distract you in that in that sacred time with the Lord. Because I I feel the Lord is going to reveal to you very important things. And the enemy can, and the enemy really wants to to um, to distract you. That you feel okay. Now I, I've heard enough. I can go. The Lord says, stay until you've heard the very last word. Be blessed. Hey, Jason. Uh, I see how you uh, service a, a, a car engine, uh, and now you can go on a road trip. And I feel you did a lot of preparation and uh, getting yourself ready for what God wants to do in a new season. But now you're going to go to places and do different other things. So that's that's just what I saw. Jason, God bless you. Uh, thank you for being a great support to me at Unity with Heaven. So um, I want to minister to Layla Robe. Um, so uh, Layla, the Lord shows me a word about business and also government. And the first one was from local to national to international that's the first thing that the lord showed me and i also felt that you're not going to be just connected be connected to the local economy but you're going to be connected to the international economy and that's going to be a lot more stable for you and then the second thing that the lord showed me a product and how he puts a, a branding sticker on the product and i felt that the lord is going to help you uh, to up the level of your branding and of that uh, PR that you put out, uh, the marketing, who you are and how you label yourself. God bless you. Amen, Leila. I just feel that there's been a lot of things going on and I just see how the Lord says, I see you, I love you, and the Lord says you are you are strong. Um, I just feel the Lord says you are very strong. Do not think for a second that you are weak. I feel the Lord says that there is just a blessing of overflow. Um, just while praying for you in the spirit, all I saw was roses. It was like roses in your hair, um, your clothing, your house is full of roses, your backyard, um, your cupboards, and I just feel how the Lord says, okay, you, this is this is so full, you have to overflow and you have to give, give it out. So I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you an anointing of overflowing and giving. And I just see how you give these people all these beautiful roses. And I I, I, I remember um, a long time ago, I heard this leader say that, how do you know um, places of world order are beautiful? Are beautiful and I, and I just feel the Lord says, I'm calling you to bring order and beauty. God loves you. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Anthony. Anthony, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture how the Lord has given you a sword and that sword, you learn to use that sword, but you're just using it in, in a limited way. And the Lord says, I want you to use that sword with uh, the sword with full motion of ability, where it is not just in one place in your life, not just in, in a place where you think you've got challenges and problems but in all aspects of your life to discern uh, what is the will of God is is this what I'm doing the will of God is anything coming against the will of God what I am doing and then you use that sword to say this thing I cut it out it is not part of the plan of God but I really see how God gives you uh, like a helmet uh, that gives you tremendous wisdom to know what is the will of God so that you can use the sword and the helmet uh, together so that you can achieve tremendous breakthrough in your life but also in your family's life be blessed yes anthony you must put on the put on the whole armor of god that he has given to you the lord also shows me matthew 5 blessed are the the pure in heart for they shall see god yes. and and the lord says that there is going to be a cleansing of your heart that it will be purified that it'll burn even more than it has for jesus that he is your very very first love that that heart is going to that he the lord just wants to purify that because the lord wants to open your eyes to see him to see more than what you have already seen jesus says that we will do greater things and that is a, a that is a really big part of your life so the Lord is really bringing you into a cleansing process where He is washing away with the Holy Spirit, washing away everything that is not of Him. Be blessed. 
Hey. Anthony, uh, I really feel the Lord is going ahead of you, just like you went in front of the Israelites. God bless you. So um, I want to minister to April. April, uh, the Lord uh, just showed to me how he puts a John the Baptist anointing upon you and how you make a way for the Lord and how the Lord comes and brings massive revival in your life, your family and even the church we're involved with and how you are the one that declare before it happens and also um, uh, open up a space, a platform for God to move. God bless you, April. Even April, God loves you so much. I see that you're very, very creative and God is going to use your creative mightily. But also, I just feel the Lord is giving you vision, plan and strategy. It's like you're in front of this chessboard and the Lord is guiding you and speaking to you. And he's saying to you, daughter, you don't have to figure it out all by yourself. I have a plan for you. Come into my presence and I want to share that plan with you. I just see how you have a pencil and a piece of paper and you're just writing down what God is saying to you. And then I also saw a picture of things that you've written out in the past of... of of dreams that you had that the Lord has spoken to you before and the Lord says that there is a time of harvest for that and the Lord says keep on planting no matter what you do don't keep those seeds um, those gifts are like in a cupboard or tucked away the Lord says keep on sowing keep on planting for harvest is coming and I'm sending rain God loves you April the next word is for Bridget Bridget the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of you cutting and preparing a fish uh, but the Lord also says as the ocean provides food to the people that fish on the ocean, so do I provide for you as well. Where there is, if you need, you go and you can catch fish. I just see how the Lord says, I'm providing for you uh, the necessary, the necessities of life. Where necessities, necessities, necessities. of life. <laughs> <laughs> necessities of life that you need. But I see you also... What you do is you take for what you want, but you also give to other people as well. So sometimes you give a lot more than you can afford, uh, but the Lord says, don't worry about that. I'm just supplying more and more and more uh, because you are very, very faithful. Be blessed. Amen, Brid Bridget. The Lord says that, that you must bless those that persecute you persecute you and the Lord shows me how you're having this conversation with this person or if, or anybody or even like an organization that you don't agree with the Lord shows me how you with like huff and puff and you go to your room and you tie your hair back and you're like Lord I bless those people and 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 I pray that they will have a, an abundant life and and all will go well with them and that your hand will be on them and the Lord shows me how how that that is going to bless you so much more than it is going to bless them but, but just by using that and being obedient to the word of god like this with every situation that has come what does the word say about this how do i need to approach it holy spirit help me approach this in in your posture and in, in, in your in the right attitude be blessed hey awesome uh, bridget uh what the lord is just saying to me how you sang with someone, but you were singing the harmony, and now it's a, a time for you to sing the melody, yes. and the other person is going to sing the harmony. And so that role switch, where you are being mentored, now you get to lead. That's that's what God shows me. So uh, God bless, uh, bless you, Bridget. Um, please write us a comment. All right, so Kiri, uh, the Lord shows me Holy Spirit baptism, a fire coming to you, uh, to your children, to your family, uh, people around you, um, even friends of you. And I just see many, many people at your house being baptized with the Holy Spirit, falling under the power of the Holy Spirit, even at church. And not only you being baptized with the Holy Spirit, but you also praying for others and they being baptized with the Holy Spirit. And so I just feel there's a season of everyone flowing and praying in tongues and flowing in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, Gary, uh, even your young kids, I don't know if they are all baptized in the Holy Spirit, praying in tongues, but I just see how the Lord touches them and how you create the environment where they also can get baptized in the Holy Spirit and praying in tongues and revival come to them. And um, Gary, I, I don't know if you're baptized in the Holy Spirit. Uh, I assume so, but if you're not, get someone out that can already pray in yeah. tongues and let them come to your house and pray for you and your kids and get that gift activated in your life. That's what God shows me. God bless you, Kiri. 
Amen. Carrie, God loves you so much. I just see um, the Lord is say, says to you, Carrie, you are courageous. You are brave. I'm with you. I'm right by your side. I just see how God has put, put his two hands on your shoulders and he says, I'm with you. And then Carrie, the picture God showed me for you was how you walked into very dark rooms and how you come in there and you actually open up the curtains and you bring in the light. You take away those curtains. You you bring fresh air into the room. Then all of a sudden there, there's light. There's life. And I just feel the Lord says, I've given you a calling to speak by revelation, my life. Um, the places that you go to, there's a reason. And I'm calling you to let your light shine. But that's all through me. You are a river of my love. When you speak, it is through me. When you let your light shine, it is through me. Carrie, God loves you so much. And I really feel the Lord has called you to be a chain breaker and really bring so much breakthrough to everywhere you go. And the love of Jesus wherever you go. God bless you. Hey, thank you, Carrie. And Thank you for each one that we could minister today. Uh, it was such a pleasure for us. We love and appreciate each one of you. God bless.